What's poppin' Connor High? Today is Thursday, April 14th, 2022. I'm Damon. And I'm JJ. And in today's show, we'll be talking about a dead sunspot and the power of personalities. So stay tuned for today's episode of Total Recap. A star called AR2987 just had a solar flare. It is a C-class solar flare, and it exploded on April 11th. Loads of energy have been shot off of this sun, and it is now heading towards Earth. This will most likely cause quite the aurora, even more intense than the northern lights. Solar flares often occur when plasma and magnet fields on a sun's surface give way due to stress. This means there is a large amount of energy made of radiation heading towards Earth. The good news is C-class solar flares are fairly common and not likely to cause any damage. It's a good thing this solar flare won't have too many effects on Earth. Yeah, because this means we can live a long life and grow old. Studies show that your personality traits can help determine the age level of your brain. It is said that your traits can give you healthy behaviors or bad ones. People who are introverted are a lot, have a lot more self-discipline and are more organized than an extrovert. Extroverts are more outgoing, talkative, and have a lot of enthusiasm. Extroverts are more likely to develop dementia around 80 years old compared to their introverted counterparts. We will now take you to a quick commercial break. <laughs> Breaking news! KTIG will be live streaming from on May 13th. So if you can't afford to go, tune into the live stream. If you want to experience prom without dressing up and dancing in a sweaty, crowded room, tune into the live stream. If you want to see senior interviews, prom king and queen announcements, and more, tune into the live stream. We'll be live from 6:30 p.m. until prom king and queen announcements. So head over to KTIGnews.com on May 13th to tune into the live stream. How's it going, Connor High? Today will be mostly sunny with a high of 85 and a low of 59. And tomorrow we will have a high of 83 and a low of 67. And look forward to this weekend with cloudy mornings and sunny afternoons with Saturday having a high of 87 and a low of 65. And Sunday's high of 90 and a low of 62. Now for today's fact of the day. It's impossible to hum while holding your nose. Hmm. Next up, we have our own segment of the day in a day in a class. What's good, Connor High? Welcome to a day in the life of a class. Today we're gonna to be looking at welding, and stay tuned. My name's Van Campbell. I uh, kind of like the School of Hard Knocks. I was Played college ice hockey at Iowa State, went into the United States Navy, that's where I got real good at welding. Then I became an iron worker for 21 years, got my welding cert uh, certifications through the iron workers, and then basically uh, got my teacher certificate, and here I am. Well, in uh, the advanced welding class, we basically go through the uh, API 1104, the uh, AWS D11, and ASME, and the uh, kids are now working on certifications so when they graduate they can get a job right out of school. My name is Jacob Pitzer and I am a junior in high school. Uh, the process of welding is really a uh, not just welding but 
welding, grinding, cutting, melting with a acetylene torch, trying to cut through metals, uh, working on a sheet of paper to try and figure out what you're going to build, diameters, measuring a lot, measure twice, cut once, and but uh, the best the best part is to actually getting the weld because I feel like you do that the littlest and the the whole process is just takes a long time and it's a lot of hard work. The plan I joined in welding, basically get ready because it's a heck of a ride. You can make a ton of money, but it's a lot of work and it's very demanding. Uh, I'd say try it out, but before you join the class, make sure you start learning a few bases with someone else that has a machine at their home or at a farm, anywhere. Just try and learn first so you can get ahead, so you can start really working into welding and do the paperwork because that stuff's important. Hey guys, we have a quick interview for you today with our People's Choice winner from the talent show, since Belen wasn't able to be on the show last week. Let's take a quick peek at Belen's performance. There'll be none of him no more. I cried for you on the kitchen floor. I cheated myself like I knew I would. So, Belen, you won the People's Choice Awards. What was going on in your mind when you got on stage and realized that you won? Well, I was shocked and I was actually really surprised. People liked my performance and I love that they loved what I could do. And uh, what made you want to go on stage and perform? Uh, I wanted people to see uh, how much I learned in just four months and I wanted them to see how good of it I was. All right. Were you nervous at all on stage? I was very nervous. I think um, my nervousness came over me and it just took over my excitement, actually. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, how long have you been playing the electric guitar? I've only been playing for about four months, since December. Oh, huh. that's really impressive. So how did you prepare for the talent show then? Uh, I actually asked my uh, guitar lesson teacher for some tips and I found the music online and I taught myself. That's really cool. And do you plan on performing again next year? Maybe. Uh, maybe I'll find a song that I'm good at again and I right. perform. Now, you do know about the Roar season too, yes? Yes. Do you plan on auditioning for it? or? Well, I haven't thought about it, but maybe now that you've told me. All right. Well, congrats again on winning People's Choice. That's it for us. Let's take a quick look at other things going on here at CHS. We want to congratulate Mrs. Frost for being nominated as Teacher of the Week by N Award. Make sure to fill out the Google form on KTIGnews.com to nominate one of your favorite teachers. The Conroe Jazz Band is looking for wind and rhythm players for the 2022 to 2023 school year. We are looking for groovy swinging cats. Everybody will be considered no matter your musical background. QR codes are posted throughout the school. Be sure to scan them to access the interest form. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Hernandez located in the band hall. Juniors and seniors, if you are looking for a job this summer, check the CCC Canvas course for information from local businesses now hiring. This information will be updated as job posts are received, so be sure to check it often. On the home screen in the CCC Canvas course, click the Now Hiring button to see the list of businesses currently hiring. Physical day is Wednesday, April 20th. Any student planning to be in athletics, drill team, cheer, band, or ROTC during the 2020 to 2023 school year will need a physical. The cost is $20 cash or a check made payable to the CHS Sports Medicine. The dance department is having their spring showcase on Friday, April 22nd at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Wristbands are being sold for $1. See Ms. Farrell in the dance room to purchase yours today. You better get yours fast because this show is always sold out. 
This week's College of the Week is the University of Kentucky. This university is located in the beautiful city of Lexington, Kentucky. There are several degrees available at UK, including businesses, medicine, and law. For students seeking their medical degree, there is a hospital located on campus for medical students to learn through hands-on experiences. It is ranked number 132 in National University's rankings. There are also several famous alumni from University of Kentucky, such as Andy Green with the New York Nets and Randall Cobb with the Green Bay Packers and Josh Harrelson with the Detroit Pistons. Make sure to tune in on Tuesday for a real talk with animal lovers. On Wednesday for game time, movie madness, and on Thursday for our next episode of Total Recap. Also, don't forget about our hallway procedures. Remember to walk and talk, stay to the right, and keep the hats off. Well, those are all the announcements that we have for today. Don't forget to follow us on all social media at KTIG News. As always, CHS, start strong, finish strong. Make sure to stay tuned to our YouTube channel for more KTIG News coming soon.